guys, it's Jill, and today I have a kind of play-by-play, -play, I guess you could call it, review of the new Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Studio Cream Shadows. Let's see. There you go. Um, the color that I got is in the color Toughest Hope. So that's what it looks like. Now, what I'm going to do, since it claims to be a 24-hour eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to top it with anything else. I'm going to apply it right now, real time. Show you the time right now. It is 1.29. You see my baby girl. <laughs> and um, on my right eye, I'm going to apply a primer. On my left eye, I'm going to apply just this. So right eye, primer, and this. Left eye, just this. And I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day. And I'm actually, I have no other makeup on it whatsoever. So I'm just going to leave this on throughout the night and see if it really holds up to its 24 hour claim. Um, like I said, it is now 129. So we'll say it's about 130. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a primer. And then this right here is just going to be able to give you like a real play-by-play -play example on how this stuff really truly works and if it really is going to work like it says that it's going to work. So I'm just applying some, um, what is this, Too Faced Shadow Insurance to, like I said, just my right eye. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you. I swatched it. This was over the MAC paint pot and this was just by itself. This was kind of like blended out. A little bit <clears throat> but it's it's really got great payoff it's got a nice creamy texture it's not as creamy as I would say oh and it's a beautiful color it's not as creamy as I would say a paint pot is but um, still like it a lot and I love this color I'm not sure if you can really see it in this lighting but it's it's really gorgeous So that's that eye. I wish I would have gotten a like a brighter color, like a purple or they have an amazing color selection. Like they have orange. I think that they have I'm not sure if they have yellow, but I think that they have like a gorgeous teal. Um they have a like a good color selection. Hey boo boo. Hi. So here we are just going over the left eye and there it is like I said I'm going to actually apply just a little bit more to each eye because this isn't exactly a color that I mean I can I can see it but it's kind of looks like it's hard to see coming on camera and we're also going to see how it works with this is going on my third coat so we'll see how it works with more than just one coating of it so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this eye so, I will be back in a few hours to show you how it is wearing. Okay, so seven hours and 15 minutes later, this is what it looks like. Oh, let me show you the clock. Just so you know, I'm being real. Like I said, this is a real-time review. So it is about 9.45, almost 9.50. Okay, now look at this. Zoom. There's no color transfer. Can you see my finger? You see a little bit from the mascara flaking off a little bit, but no color transfer, like at all. How amazing is that? Like, can you seriously say that you have that you can get a cream eyeshadow and even a powder eyeshadow and really not even have to put a primer underneath it and it stays 
this vibrant, like nothing has moved. It's still as vibrant. It hasn't creased. It hasn't moved. Nothing for seven hours and 15 minutes. Now I am going to sleep in this. I know it's bad, but the things that I do for you guys. So I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, so it is in the morning. It is eight o'clock. And again, it hasn't been quite 24 hours, but I slept and I'm a rough sleeper too. That is what it looks like. There are like certain little tiny spots where you can see that the color is faded off. Um, definitely like, let me see if I can use, it keeps going black. Um, right here, you can see that it's starting to fade and right there on the corner, you can see that it's faded. Um, but man, I mean, it's, how many hours has it been? If I took it on, I don't know. I'll figure it out and I'll put it on the screen because I'm so bad when it comes to math. Again, right here, faded. Right here, faded. This right here, down here, like I said, is just the mascara from sleeping in it. But, um, very, very, very little fading. No creasing whatsoever. How many times have you been able to say that you have? Let me zoom out. Wait, I guess I can go ahead and show you, like, really zoomed in. How amazing it still looks. Very, very, very minimal fading. Very minimal, like, no creasing whatsoever. And how many times have you been able to get a cream eyeshadow? Even if it claimed to turn to a powder and say that it lasted for a really, really, really long time. It's lasted well over 12 hours right now. So, very, 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 very impressed. I want to say that this was $7.99. Um, but again, I will put the price of it, like, right here. Um, but I'm, I'm so, so, so excited and so enthusiastic, so enthused when products actually do what they claim to do. And this is just that 24 hour color tattoo. Once you put it on, it's not budging off. It's not going anywhere until you take it off. I think I've pretty much said everything that I wanted to say about this. Um, just to, just to review, it's, that's how it comes out. That's how it looks. It's not the creamiest in the world, but it's not hard to get on whatsoever. Not hard to blend. Um, again, not the easiest in the world, but if you're like a long wearing, long stay product, you're really not expecting it to be really creamy because the creamier it is, the harder it is for it to stay, especially to be able to stand alone on its, on its own nothing else. I really don't even see a difference between the primer side and the non-primer side. This stuff is amazing. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. It's I'm so excited when I find really good products. I'm always so excited for the first of January because so many new products come out and I get to test and try things out and it's just so exciting. So very exciting about that. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't take much pressure or much at all. And like I said, down here, it's just going to be the remains from the mascara. But it's all gone. Very, very, very easy removal process. Run to the nearest store and go get some. Like, I'm not even kidding. Run, get in your car, run to your car, get into your car, and go pick some of these up. They are fantastic. Wear them alone, wear something on top. They're just amazing. Um, yeah, so definitely, that is my review. Great, great, great product. Definitely, I believe that this is one of those things that's going to receive a lot of hype on YouTube, become a cult favorite, and it definitely deserves that title. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Comment down below if you have this product, if you've tried it, if you plan on trying it, 
and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So I will see you guys in the next one.